post-traumatic stress disorder. I'm going to start off by telling you a story of two very brave people, CJ Grisham and Rhonda. Grisham is a retired U.S. Army first sergeant and served in the Iraq and Afghanistan war. In his career, he was forced to shoot a person being used as a human shield and find the dead from burning cars. And then there is Rhonda, a mother who was so excited to meet her baby, but having given birth to one that wasn't alive. Because of what CJ and Rhonda went through, they now live with immense pain and stress on a daily basis. The illness that both Rhonda and CJ are suffering from is what is referred to as post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD is an illness that is usually associated with war veterans, but I'm here to tell you that it can also just be to regular people like Rhonda. This is because PTSD is a psychiatric disorder that is caused by any sort of trauma in one's life. There are three main symptoms that sufferers of PTSD experience. Re-experiencing trauma through flashbacks and vivid nightmares. Avoidance of activities that may trigger memories and increased arousal, things like insomnia and irritability. The impact of PTSD on daily life. Increased risks of mental health problems. Studies have shown that 52% of sufferers have experienced psychotic symptoms as well as 49% being suicidal. Physical health problems such as pain, diabetes, and obesity. It is unclear as to why physical health problems tend to be more prone in sufferers, but it may be due to the increase of the stress hormone and substance abuse. Possible causes of PTSD Adrenaline levels The abnormal levels of stress hormones contribute to the fight or flight mentality always being present, even when there is no danger. This causes sufferers to view life from an unhealthy standpoint, thus causing PTSD symptoms. Treatments for PTSD Cognitive Behavioral and Exposure Therapy Both of which urge the patient to talk about their experience and get emotions off of their chest. In drugs such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, medications that help to alleviate stress and anxiety. The effects that PTSD has on human brain. There are significant structural and functional differences in those suffering from PTSD, such as the reduction in the hippocampus. Here are some statistics on PTSD sufferers in Canada. Women are twice as likely to develop PTSD because of factors such as sexual assault and military combat, ectopic pregnancies, and miscarriages. In children, nearly 100% of them that have witnessed parental homicide or sexual assault will develop this illness. And that's it. I hope you gained some knowledge so that we can all work together to eliminate the stigma around mental illness. Thank you.